Hello. Hi, Josie. Hi, how are you? Look at you. Oh, yes. I'm at my mom's house, so it's my little kid's corner at my mom. Oh, I love that. Can we see behind you? Is this literally where you grew up? Um, it's no, it's we're in Ohio. My mom moved here actually right before the pandemic. And I'm very happy. I love this. And you're applying like a lip as well, your we speak. It looks so pretty. I had to do something, but look Wait, at Wait, Josie, like, you have, oh, look at this. I love all this backstory. Brother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at that. We're, that's so great. But now, you know, this begs the question, what did you just put on your lips? Right? <laughs> Show everyone what you put on. What color is that? Yummy, healthy, clean, delicious. Um, what color is this? Oh my gosh, Indie June. People are gonna wanna know. Oh, it's okay. Can you come here and read this for me? Cause my eyes are not good. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, we got a little new reader. Say hello. We got <laughs> you got Oh, hi. Hello. And you've got something gorgeous on your Argon eyes as well. Volume. Argon Lip natural gloss. volume. Is there, can you see the name? <laughs> Argon Natural Volume. Lip Gloss. Sunset Glow. Sunset Glow. I like that. We make lots of beautiful colors every season. So this is a, just a delicious pink. Is So do you, how many colors do you add per season, Josie? Really good question. We, um, probably about four to six. It's a little crazy because of our QVC world. We just are abundant in. Yeah, so tell me what what's the difference between you know, how do you work with QVC? What, what are the expectations there? What do you need? Okay, so if anybody, if I'm so curious if any of our, our viewers right now are will ever shop on QVC, will you guys like type in and let us know? Yes, um, let us know or DM us afterwards and we want to get that information to Josie. I just, I'm just curious because they're actually, we're seeing so many new people, like regular people, because I was not a QVC shopper. I'm not, I didn't even know what QVC was. And a lot of my friends have no idea what that world is. So I'm sure a lot of you guys don't either, but um, i curious if it's becoming more popular because of COVID and all that. But um, I, think, I think that it is. And I think as a fashion editor and an editor, um, I was always acquainted with QVC and HSN. We always had to cover that kind of stuff and know everything about it. And yeah. especially the people like you that had brands on those platforms. Um, but yeah. yeah, what did we talk about this on the podcast? What's what's a popular, what's what are the popular products on QVC for my line? Yeah, and by the way, there's like actually in beauty, especially amazing lines there, like Tatcha, and just like there's yep. ton of main big cool brands on QVC, and it's just good. Place yeah, they're, to they're beautiful brands on QVC. Yeah. Um, so our po most popular product is our body butter and, um, that's that. and it comes the we haven't launched the well, new this, one. Sorry, this is yeah. the retinol body butter. Yeah, that's the new pink We're going to talk about that, but your most popular is the body butter. We talk yeah, about we, this a lot on the podcast. No, sorry, talk about it. We talk about it a lot on the podcast and you said that it's just like, it's your go-to. It's my go-to and it's, it's literally this, what well, we're going to talk a lot about, I guess, the brand and the purpose and all that stuff. But like the body butter is seriously a portal into self love, which then I think equals love for life and then love for your community. And it's just this like really simple way. If you are looking for like how to reactivate yourself in your life, I love <laughs> I big leap from a beauty product or a body butter, but something about it activates all your senses and I think when no, your not a, I, mean, I love that we you talk about that a lot on the podcast and I love this idea of having like a bigger connection to something that you're putting all over your skin um, yeah, I mean, our, yeah so we can go into it forever because I I need purpose and meaning to into everything I'm doing and creating and yeah so I can't just be like oh that's pretty I have to be like so why what's in it why am I doing it how does it make me feel and why do I need to be doing it forever or not you know I just like why, why do I love it so much yeah and so anyway so I always you need to get behind. well let's talk about that what you know you're the core ingredient in your line is argon oil so again we talk about this on the podcast and everybody who is here in in our live chat can hear a lot more about it. I've got some in front of me too. Yeah, this, is this is your, so it's what, what I think is so great is that you, your line contains all these products 
that have argon oil as an ingredient, and then you have 100% pure argon oil. Yeah, so I know. That's... Can you share the story about how you came to discover argon oil? It's such a good one. Yeah, so um, I, so the, I'll do the short version because on the podcast you can get the really long, exciting version. But um, I, so I started out just as a model, but I, as a little girl with a dream to change the world. And as a model, I sat in many makeup chairs. I sat with the best makeup artists and I would always ask them, is there something that's good for me or good for the world and good enough for a makeup artist? And they all told me it was impossible to have those two things come together. Good for you, healthy, natural, non-toxic, good for the planet, sustainable, and, you know, chic and good enough for a makeup artist. The quality just would never be there if it was natural. Right. A lot, a lot then then a lot of the times those products yeah. just wouldn't work that well, right? Yeah, it's just for, like in the back of a health food store, all muddy and gross, and they, there was no efficacy to any of that. So I really wanted to prove that you could have those two worlds come together. I called it chicological, kind of that luxury, chic, beautiful, that, you know, stylish with good for you. And I just, I understand why those two worlds couldn't be together. So, um, I did it. I worked on it for three years. Um, and then, so it was just going to be makeup. It was just going to be like logical makeup, the first high end and healthy makeup line. I was, I launched it at Barney's. The whole plan was launch it at Barney's and I did, but um, just to prove that you could be super high end and healthy and green. And so as I was developing this color line, 85 skews of amazing colors that were good for you and beautiful and chic, um, I was on a modeling trip because I was modeling during this whole time and I was in the south of France at this very chic party you can hear about it on the podcast <laughs> um, and there was this gorgeous woman across the room and my mom this natural beauty always taught me about authenticity and realness and just could we kind of always pointed out to me like when she saw a beautiful woman or a thing or man or anything that was just authentically juicy and beautiful she'd be like do you see that and she would talk about why that they were beautiful so I would see them in the world and I walked up to this most beautiful French woman she was you know like lit from within just juicy and confident and radiant and sparkly and I was just like whoa I need to talk to this woman and I would always ask people their beauty secret I was on a mission to find the natural beauty of the world um and so I walked up to her. I thought she was 40, but she was 70 years old. Unbelievable. I need to know your secret. Will you please tell me? And she said, Argan. <laughs> so I had really dry skin. I had bad skin from traveling and sitting in so many makeup artist chairs. And just my skin was just not happy. And so I was also on a mission to find a natural moisturizer that worked. That worked more than five minutes. That wasn't going to dry me out after five minutes or wasn't full of tons of chemicals. And that little amazing dry skin mission took me straight to this woman who gave me her secret, which is argan oil. And so I went on a mission and found it. It only grows in Morocco. It's the richest form, nature's richest form of essential fatty acids and vitamin E, which are essential to our skin's health, but our bodies don't produce it on its own. So we, those are those omega-3, 6, 9. It's literally the fat, the good fat, like an avocado. Yeah. And... and that good fat is what we lose as we age. We stop producing our own natural oils. So we just shrivel up and it looks like age, but we're just like needing that good fat. Right. And oil feeds you those essential nutrients and then holds that plumpness, holds the moisture in, which is what I was needing so bad just to stay moisturized more than five minutes. And it's just this little miracle worker. It's changed my life. And it happens to be so on my mission of trying to find something that worked that was actually good for me. It's a hundred percent pure, one ingredient, nothing else, hundred percent organic. It empowers the women if you do it, if you source it correctly. It's completely we have been through many journeys of argon, but we trace from fruit to seed to bottle to your door, your skin. And so it's just this amazing, beautiful story that empowers the Moroccan women empowers us to feel beautiful and healthy and it's just awesome <laughs> we're getting a few questions for you we're getting a question about 
are you, and I'm actually very curious about this one too, will you be launching a fragrance? <coughs> um, well, so I, it's so funny, it's a good question. Someday we might, I have launched um, certain fragrances at QVC only, and then we stopped that, but one time I launched an unscented fragrance just to freak people out. <laughs> but, <laughs> I didn't know that, that's such a funny story. Well, yeah, I put a pheromone, like a hormone in there that made you super attractive, but it didn't smell like anything. So everyone was just like, give it to me. And then we just walked down the street and everyone would be like, hello. And then, so it would just make you smell like you in a really hot way. Someone is saying that they would love an argon oil based fragrance. Is, I wonder if that's chemically possible, right? Mixing. Yeah, that's, well, that's totally possible. So I am really proud. I was just talking to my team about it. We're, we have this whole body butter thing has made us into fragrance is kind of a funny word because I don't really I, I was never a fragrance girl but has turned me into like a fragrance maker you have the best fragrances that's why it's astounding to me that your your body scrub is behind me behind and me. you have such beautiful fragrances for somebody so who's not into fragrance. you've got sweet clementine you've got like a watermelon it's fragrance so we have wow, and they're really great they oh, smell very awesome. natural so that's the whole thing and I think that's I don't know why other people weren't doing it and I'm sure they will, but um, we're all about real things, everything real, real authentic, but real fragrances. So nothing synthetic ever. I, my mom, I grew up, she's very sensitive to chemicals and especially fragrances. And my grandmother had breast cancer and I would like my one thing I beg other people to do is to please don't use synthetic fragrances. They're really, really, they're harmful. Um, another so smell, sense. That's why they smell so good because it reminds you. It like you can smell the real deal, and that's why they're so delicious. Because they, they act really, it's very true. They're so delicious. They smell very real deal. Someone is asking you now for candles. <laughs> candles yeah. are very expensive to make. Let's do that. Let's have like a candle session together. Candle like brainstorm. A candle brainstorm, but also no. I'm saying like let's let's get together as a community and make candles. <laughs> okay, I, I look for I, it. I, Story and Rain would do a candle with Josie Marin uh, Cosmetics. Let, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do a limited edition candle. I like that. How we decide on our scent? Like, what's the journey of the scent? Okay, let's do that. Yeah, let's. But, uh, I love a whole story behind the scent. I love yeah. that. Another question was, when is this launching on QVC? Oh my gosh, we got some QVC ladies here. You uh, do. You, you have a lot of people commenting about QVC telling you, yes, we do shop on QVC. I love you. I love you so much. So they know. They could do this for me. I'm on QVC so much, and we are having a party over there. Um, so, oh, but, but is, it, is it new people? Maybe that, can you, okay, the people who have said that you shop on QVC, are, how long have you been shopping? Are you kind of a new person, or... I just, I'm just curious if there's some new people, but yeah, I, I yeah think that's, that's, those are some good statistics to, to call. Um, so the retinol body butter is coming to QVC, not till July. Sorry. Okay. They, well, that's a good time to launch something in July. <laughs> it's, it's at Sephora and it's coming to um, Ulta in April. Oh, that's perfect. So you've got April, July. Perfect. Um, how many products in the line contain argon? Is it every single one of them? Yeah, so it's argon powered beauty. Um, just so you know, argon oil. It's not just because it's like a you know brand marketing thing. It's argon oil has changed my life. It's the best thing on the planet, and it has these mag It has this magical way that anything we put with it next to it, including especially this all situation. So because when we merged it with this the ingredient that makes us a natural retinol. Um, the things in argon oil made the pink algae actually so much stronger and yes it actually work in your skin in a different way because of argon oil and everything we do it with we pair it with it like act argon oil activates this new thing in an ingredient even vitamin c even lactic acid so we pair it with things and take it into the lab and we start to see these chemical reactions in a healthy way that are interesting yeah fine. so this is like totally that worthy of being argon powered everything. So this helps to activate other ingredients. Yeah. So in a 
finding out things all the time. It's crazy. In a beautiful way. Well, that, that brings me to my next question for you, which is what are some of your other favorite ingredients to work with? Um, what I, are you into right now? Let's see. I, think, I mean, as you know, I'm getting older. I'm 42. I'm proud of it. Um, but I am just on a mission to find on, anything that will just keep us young and juicy. Um, I'm learning about the the microbiome of our skin and so what kind of ingredients like and, um, I wish my team was with me on here we're working on these amazing like acid peel pads that, oh um, I love that revolutionary like prebiotic probiotic and then so like a first pad and a second pad to do different things and just work with the acid mantle and the, the skin in new ways and using just plant magic to, to empower it Those we're also coming out with an eczema line next year that's really important it's really hard for people with eczema to find the right clean and product. Guess what? most eczema products most all so eczema are damaged is, yeah are the drug you have to have it's like a over the you can't you have to have it for, it's it's officially a drug if you say eczema so it has to have certain ingredients in it that make it a drug most of these products are full of chemicals things that you do not want to put on especially sensitive skin so my whole dream is to clean up the drug world, which is like the the skin drug world. Um, so we're doing, we're just cleaning up like eczema products, psoriasis products, acne products, things that are drug, actual drugs, even SPFs. I started, my SPF is a drug, just so you know, SPF is a actual drug. Um, and I launched my SPF probably 10 years ago. It is the still one of the best selling clean SPFs, but it was like revolutionary back then to be like teaching people about the difference of chemical SPF and non-chemical SPF. Yeah. Now it's, thank God, becoming much more important to people and known. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's interesting, it, the power of, we were often uneducated about the power of natural ingredients. Like I, I actually, I, I had a burn on my leg recently from a tea kettle, like from, from making tea. Yeah. And I put Manuka honey on it. And the minute I put Manuka honey on it, it cleared up overnight. Like it was not doing very well. It wasn't really healing. I put Manuka honey on it. The next day, all oh, better. But I, I think merged argon and Manuka. Oh, that's a, that. Um, I have a, we have a divine drip body cream and it's actually the face, the, the sleeping nectar is made with manuka and argon and it's like the most delicious texture. It's like a custard. It's like, oh, I need to try that. But, um, but yeah, these natural ingredients to just heal and manuka is super powerful. I've been doing manuka forever. And do you, do you know that you're supposed to eat manuka out of a wooden spoon? Oh, that will take it Tim from Josie. I like that. Oh, what, right. Because the does the metal, the metal. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. I'm going to do that. Good mm -hmm. midwives in my life from birthing my children. So I, they, they talk a little hippie magic. <laughs> yeah. How often is your brand researching and testing ingredients? Would you say? Every day, every day right now we're, we're on it. That it's <laughs> like, we have the, the, a very diverse um, chemist team, you know, and I, so my main one is I call him my hippie scientist. He's, so cool like coming up with the craziest coolest things and i'm i said like five years ago i was like i want to reinvent retinol like we need a retinol that's good for us that's not bad for us what can we do and then he just got on the mission and two years later he called me like i found a pink algae lagoon in australia that's the richest source of beta carotene which is the rich is a natural form of vitamin a which is retinol and i was like I love you <laughs> so we just then started creating things from there and it's just it's fun. It's so fun. I, when I was younger, one of the things I wanted to be was a botanist, which is mean to go find. Oh. Yeah. Nature. Speaking of speaking of plants, I mean, yeah. I when we when we did our podcast, I was just absolutely spellbound by the beautiful flowers you had in your hair. I know. I was trying to find. But we have tulips all over our house, right? Now, but we didn't get any little. Light so sp and speaking of hair, we're getting a lot of comments about um, hair products. I'm launching a hair line next year, everybody, finally. I've been getting so many questions, and I've been working on it for so long, and we're finally 
in the world of being able to actually make good products that work. Because before, I mean, health that are healthy. Before, like I've been working on it for so long, hair is really hard to do natural and healthy. Yeah, and we actually just got a question now about layering products and okay. how do you recommend? Are your products, you know, able to be layered? How many yeah. do you? How many do you? Why don't you tell people how many? you typically use at, at, at a time? Okay, good. Um, so I designed my products very consciously, specifically, intentionally to be layered. Everything has a specific time and purpose. So it's all very important that you do follow the rules of the layering. And I'm not a rule girl, so I'm sorry for bringing in some rules. But on clean skin, my pineapple cleanser, my milk cleanser, or my regular you can use that depending on your skin love if you need hydration more hydration or less hydration um then it always 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 start with argon milk this is one of my favorite products ever 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 created this is created by the hippie scientist um this is micro droplets of argon oil finer than a light wave we figured out how to turn argon oil into a real milk um using a particle accelerator uh, <laughs> I have to say it with a real nerdy voice. So oh, let's get technical. A particle accelerator is a high pressurized, is high pressurized water bashing into argon oil so hard that oil and water came together, and it splattered argon oil into micro droplets that are finer than a light wave. And guess what? Oil and water came together without emulsifiers, which is so cool. So emulsifiers can be a little bit irritating, for the skin, especially when you're working at the deepest levels, and this is going to get into your deepest levels um so this is like the most high-tech product it wins if you know me at qvc it wins best and anti-aging treatment year after year after year because it's mind-blowingly powerful and it's super simple all milks are like real milk when i say most people when they're in beauty now they're like this is a milk because it's like a milky texture yes this is a honest to god real milk like almond milk coconut milk right mama's milk cow's milk it's right. a real it's oil and water. It's just water and fat coming together. And watch how fast this goes into my skin. I mean, it's like, gone. Yeah, like it's gone. Micro droplets. So you want to start with this first. Milk first because it's going to feed your roots. Like the deepest layers of your skin have never, if you've never used milk, have never been hydrated. They're like down there all alone going, <laughs> why? I'm thirsty, mama. <laughs> so put on milk just like I Milk is good for like the nightstand, the bedside table. Yeah, but on a, you know, wherever you're going to do your routine, your ritual. Yeah. Okay? I mean, yes, if you want a little refresh, but start with milk so it feeds your roots. Feed the roots. When you water a flower, do you water the flower or do you water the roots to make it come back to life? Right. Water the right. roots. We need to get hydration down to our roots. And when you get argon oil down there, like it's food. It's like essential fatty acids are food. So feeding the roots. Okay, I, I could go on to with milk forever because it really is. It's so pretty. I mean, you just put it on it, it just soaked up. It just add this into, into your, even if you don't want to use any other of my products, put this on first before something else, you will see a huge difference because you've like lubed up the root and then you've also lubed up the pipe. So whatever you put on after will go in deeper. Right, right. Okay. And Josie, yeah. as a model, what do you think you learned about makeup and skincare early on? That helped get you know, that helped you become such a um, apt product developer. I never thought I, I was never a producty person at all. My mom has just used one product her whole life. You know, like I grew up with like one cream. It was actually DDML Clinique's dramatically different. Lotion. Oh yeah, of course. Um, I don't. So in the make in modeling, I mean, I think what I mostly learned because in my days. When was I like, big in modeling? Um, I graduated in 96 from high school. So like in 2000-ish, um, it was like a time of real dewy, natural, it's like natural beauty. So it was like dewy skin and every makeup artist used their fingers and they would like use lots of what I invented at my Infinity Creamy Oil because a lot of makeup artists use Vaseline or petroleum jelly or Elizabeth Arden eight hour cream. Yes. That? I was obsessed. 
but that stuff is made literally out of petroleum. So I made the same thing, like Vaseline, out of argon oil. Right. Petroleum. And then you would just put this onto your face. They would put this all over me and just like a little concealer or a little like bronzer. And they would just tap in Vaseline or whatever all over me and be like, okay, you're done. Go. Right. Right. Like, wow. Right. That did just make me like really juicy. Thank you. <laughs> and so I, I think I just really admired healthy, juicy skin. Yeah. Yeah. And you were saying that you were never really a scent person, but you've, the line manages to have such beautiful scents. And mm -hmm. I think on the podcast, you were saying that you're inspired by like, just natural, like things from your garden and that kind of thing. Delicious food and just like something when you smell it, it just awakens you, you know, your senses are like, oh, it makes you feel good. I don't, I, I, I said it was just because I was trained not to feel good or just, I never had that feeling from a synthetic fragrance that I was like. Yeah, but with your, your fragrances are a whole different, whole different um, thing. Yeah, so weird. So anyway, so milk first. Then your serum step. So we have three different serums, retinol serum, vitamin C, or a resurfacing serum. So then you put this over it and it's gonna, the milk's gonna help take it down deeper. And so like retinol would be working on wrinkles and actually works on pretty much everything. Yeah. Vitamin C would work on age spots, dark spots, evening out the skin and brightening the skin. And then the resurfacing is giving you new baby skin. So I recommend you can, we've designed them so you can cocktail them. You can use them morning or night or both. So have fun with that. But like after like 30, 35, it's, we need to go a little bit next level and give ourselves these like active ingredients to kind of keep everything awake and alive. Yeah, that's a great tip. Um, let's talk about your mascara. Okay, I, it's so funny because I literally forgot my mascara and I'm like, Wait, here it is. Thank you, let's, let's open it now. <laughs> First of all, it's so festive looking, but. Um, Moroccan inspired. Yeah, I mean, what you put on your eyelashes is important, right? It's like yeah. going into your eye. So how did how did this how when that, did you develop that? I'm sure this is a bestseller. It is a bestseller, and it's a, it was a labor of love. It's 99 percent or 98 percent natural ingredients. It's really hard to do natural and get that mascara to work. Um, and it's it has um, bamboo, so it keeps this everything like super strong and super like up. And that brush, it's all about the brush and the formula. So it's like a mascara, if you're a formulator, is one of the hardest things to make in the world, especially natural. It lasts for 24 hours. It comes off really easily because most of those ones that um, come off, you know, that stay on, they are impossible to get off. And then you start taking out your own lashes. To That's right. That's but right. That's like right. Slides off with oil. Um, what else? Um, Where else can you use yeah. the Argon Infinity Intensive Creamy Oil? You put it on your face, but I think that's great for hands right now, no? This is dangerous for conversation because I can get real kooky with this one. <laughs> uh, and on QVC, I'm not allowed to, but I always like... Mm. Well, t yeah, I mean, I get it. <laughs> okay, so it's called Infinity Creamy Oil because you can use it in infinite ways. Um, so yes, it's like literally argan oil in a jelly um, and you can use it on as your face moisturizer, your nighttime mask, your brow tamer, your hair tamer, your lips, um, just as a pick me up, you know, even cheeks for just a little glow, dewiness, hand cream, elbow cream, everything. And then you get into like sexual things. <laughs> there we go, she said it. Um, people it's are talking really about using it for tattoos and for scars. There you go. I'm like really exciting. So even if you're just by yourself, it's really exciting. Just saying, and it's safety is everywhere. And then if it's other people, you're allowed to use it too. Okay. Now let tattoos and scars amazing because it creates that barrier effect. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. And no, I, we have a lot of people commenting about your hand um, creams. Hand creams are great. It's like my body butter, but in a little richer form. And then we also just launched a hand treatment that we're bringing in new scents, everybody. Because I know the peach one that we just launched was like a little off for people. Oh, really? No. I was like, we just created something that not everybody loved. Okay. We going back to the drawing board here. Well, I feel like I want to smell that. That sounds great to me. <laughs> um, let's talk about your whipped argan oil face butter. Okay. I, Indy... Will you go grab me a face butter <laughs> in grandma's bathroom. So um, is this, 
So that's the gel was designed off of my body butter because everyone was using my body butter on your on their face, and I said, let me design it for the face because our face skin is different than our body skin. Um, so that one is super firming. So if you have, it's that same whipped cream texture, and we have it in actually a lot of scents, which is kind of fun and exciting for a face cream. Absolutely, really, yeah. really lightweight, like lighter than our body butters. And then, so firming. So let's talk about firming. Does anybody? What, what's the opposite of firming? I mean, lo loosening. All right. I guess it's like if you really. So yeah, loose. I mean, I'm. Crepey, loose. Crepey, loose, saggy. Saggy. I feel like thinning. So it, it, it like feeds your skin this like good fat whipped up. Then we have these other actives in there that just like lift and firm and just bring your skin back to that like baby bum kind of like bouncy lifting and firming come here i'll show them what firm skin looks like <laughs> <laughs> like hold on I have to... <laughs> let's see what firm skin oh there, there she is again <laughs> <laughs> this is this is what we've designed this out <laughs> so how many cents does this come in um probably like 20 different cents depending on the time of year. This is Which is incredible for a face cream or face butter. Fun, How because it's that little delight when you're putting it on in the morning and it's like yeah. juicy mango or juicy peach or watermelon or apple or pear. I don't know, just lots of yummy, like, mm, we even have some mint ones that kind of. Yeah. yeah. Talk about five minute facial. <laughs> Indy, go get me five minute facial. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Five minute facial is so good. So it gives you a DIY, like do it yourself at home, esthetician approved facial. So it detox, like it, it sucks out all the gunk. Oh, gross. <laughs> no, but that's, I mean. The Rasul clay from Morocco. Yeah. It has volcanic ash that is from um, Switzerland and it's amazing. So it's just like baby fine, but it totally buffs away all the dead skin. Um, pineapple enzymes, lactic acid, argan oil. It's soup. It does everything. And I recommend putting it on right before the shower, getting in the shower, doing your whole routine, and then letting, so kind of getting that like facialist steaming effect. So just let it like steam into you. So it's super detoxifying, but also super moisturizing. And so you're getting the two in one. And you have dry skin, Josie. So well, probably not so much anymore, I would think. That's that. Um, but how often would you use five-minute facial? How often? How many times per week? Once or twice a week. It depends. Like, sometimes I just do it, too, because it has this amazing lavender lotus smell that just is so helpful in the mental space. You know? It does. I mean, there's something about lavender that really is uplifting. It really is. That one's really, is. really good. Um, and I love that your lip butter is a sugar scrub, too, right? Yeah. Which the new one that we just launched? Yeah, did you see that? Yeah. All QVC with it. Anyways, yeah, it has. So our sugar scrub is the number one sugar. Scrub. I love. Yeah, love that for the body. <laughs> That's another thing that I feel is hard to find in clean with clean ingredients. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's that. Yeah, this is just sugar and argan oil into this yummy slushiness. Yeah. And it seriously, buffs like. I wish my QVC girls would be on right now telling them about how much they love this because it is like game changing. And so it's excellent. It's, and then you're just left so hydrated. Most scrubs, you know, you get that dead skin off, but you're like, Oh, tight. This is like, you have this amazing cushion cocooning yeah. body. Um, and then, so we designed that for the lips. So it's yeah, a lip, um, chubby, like crayon with sugar in it that just melts. You go like this and the sugar melts. Yeah. And I think that's, it's such a useful thing to have, you right know, now? usually there are a lot of lip scrubs that are out there that are like, you don't really want to be bringing them around with you or popping them into your makeup bag, but to yeah. have it in a stick. So it's super cool. It's awesome. It's the best silky feeling on your lips ever. I don't know if it's sugar like yes. something. This is, we're getting a lot of questions about your okay. CBD based products. Can you talk about the Skin Dope collection? Yeah. So I've been, you know, I'm from Northern California, so very familiar with um, cannabis and just l saw so many people use cannabis in different ways for healing. Um, and so I just wanted to bring it into the line. Cannabis in terms of CBD and then the hemp 
protein is really amazing for our skin too. So we have the CBD line, the just the pure hemp and argon line. And just hemp is really high in protein. So it's one of nature's richest form of protein. And merging that with nature's richest form of fat was like, hello, two perfect little natural lovers coming together. So you don't just feed your skin the good fat, but you feed your skin the good protein, which is good for strength and resilience and like um, protection of against all the pollution and stuff. The elements. Yeah. Um, yeah. Any, yeah, we're anything? not. I haven't been designing more into that line. It was kind of like a capsule collection. A capsule collection. But we keep it going. People love, love the hemp seed oil, love the CBD face cream and the CBD body butter. I like, I give it to friends and they call me even during COVID, like people were like using it on their achy bodies and stuff. And it's just really good for that. Yeah. What else is coming up for the brand? I think we talk a little bit about the, that on the podcast. Can you, can you share any cool tidbits with us? Oh, what did I say to you? I wonder which one I'm working on so many new things. Um, hmm, I mean, I just mentioned that hair. I'm big into hair and people keep asking about a perfume from you okay it keeps popping up Pe keeps coming up i have a question like uh, okay so you would love just a, a like an oil scent like i a, think so i mean that's rather, what i'm that's than, what i'm gathering like argon like a roller ball with an argon oil and scent a combination argon and scent okay and, and like what kind of scents because you can obviously get like the body butter vibe of scents which is more like juicy but are we thinking more like herbal? Are we thinking more like vanilla? Are we thinking more like, you know, what, what vibes are we? Even I mean, th there's probably like three, right? There's probably a fruity because there's a lot of that in your collection. Oh, I know. And but then there's an that, herbal and then. Yeah. But do they want fruity as a fragrance? I mean, I know. I mean, I think that's fun, but maybe, I don't More condensed know. than my body butter. Is that why we would want it in a more. Condensed. Rollerball, they're saying yes to rollerball. They're saying lilac, they're saying citrus. Vanilla keeps coming up a lot. Okay. So do like a like a rollerball trio. Okay, there you go. Why Jack. not? And lavender comes up. That's true, like vanilla jasmine or vanilla lavender. It's true that there is really there really is something about lavender that picks up. I think especially right now we're all like a little kooky. Not and we're getting cranberry oh. now. Um <laughs> Anyway, uh, <laughs> Josie, it was good to see you again. Everyone, the podcast, watch out for the podcast. It's launching tonight. Okay. Uh, it's episode 66, and we go into a lot more. Um, we talk about products. We talk about how you got your start. We talk about your modeling days um, and so much. Episode 66 is launching tonight, guys. Josie, yeah. thank you so much. Aw, thank you so much. <laughs>